There is a YouTuber that I've alluded to in a number of videos named Roman, and I've always said in those videos that I believe that his English speaking abilities are the pinnacle of what you should be going for. Let's go. Let's go! You heard what he said, right? This is an English teacher. I am the greatest that's ever been. G-O-A-T. You think I got an accent? Ah! What you talking about? To me, there is a difference between knowing the language and feeling the language. It's Fair. very similar to sports. So you have a lot of people who know the technical aspects of a sport, but there are just some players who, like Lionel Messi, who can just <laughs> do miracles with his feet that makes him a player that is... Head and shoulders above the rest. I'm messy, guys. Let's play nah, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Ow! 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 I'm messy. I'm the messy of Russians learning English. All football. Ow! Ow! Всем привет, с вами Рома, и у меня есть ужасные новости для зрителей этого канала. Дело в том, что мой английский язык достиг такого высокого уровня, что теперь нет смысла больше делать видео на английском, и следующие видео на канале будут выходить только на русском языке. Наслаждайтесь! Окей, okay, guys, not really. Because uh, if I actually did that, then I would have to literally subtitle every single video I put out, and subtitling 15 minutes of video footage from Russian to English is a bit too much work for me. <laughs> And I'm already going insane as it is, so... However, the truth is that, apparently, throughout my time here on YouTube, my English has gotten marginally better. That's what pisses me off about all of these videos. Just a tiny bit of a use. Thanks for whoever fucking re-uploaded that. This has been filmed in one day. But let's just proceed further. But the thing he did at the end... And apparently my English has gotten so good for Russian that now there's English teachers on YouTube that are making reactions to my contents, essentially showing me as an example of a Russian who has, uh... Who is the messy of English, you know? I I'll take that time. Title. You know, I usually don't like to brag or anything. I usually don't like to flex. I'm a humble guy. However, when it comes to this topic, maybe, just maybe, I will say, fuck you. <laughs> I'm the king. <laughs> But anyway, on a serious note though, hello Blazers, this is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, don't stay, welcome to a brand new video, and in today's video, guys, we're gonna be looking at this video was sent recently by Dave's English called Knowing English versus Feeling English, comparing me to Lingua Marina. And essentially, I want to talk a little bit about my experience of learning English as a Russian, what were the things that helped me do it, and also talk about how my English became this good as a Russian. Now here's the thing, in the past on this channel I've already said that Russians don't know English that well on average. Russian people, the best people. The people is class. How are you? And I would say honestly that is a fair assessment, however, it's not really fair because a lot of young Russians know English really well. But yes, in general, it's not really common to know English that well in Russia, especially if you come from like the provinces. I mean, in my family, I was always the guy that knows English. I'm like the only guy in my entire family that knows English, so... And it's the same for a lot of families, and I think the explanation is actually really simple. You know how a person, if they're born in America or the UK, essentially, they don't have to learn another language, they just know one language, English, because it's a lingua franca of the world and you can go to any other other country and speak English there as well. I'd say Russia is sort of similar to America in this regard, I guess, because Russia for a while, especially when Russia was a more peaceful and a more uh, economically prosperous and a more powerful country, Russia was sort of the United States of the post-Soviet region, if that makes sense, right? And essentially, Russian has stayed as the lingua franca, as the common language of the entire post-Soviet space. So essentially, what I'm trying to say is that a lot of Russians in Russia only know in Russian sort of comes from the same roots of, like, American in America only knowing American. <laughs> Roman, and I've always said in those videos that I believe that his English speaking abilities are the pinnacle of what you should be going for. Again, I believe there's this difference between knowing a language and feeling the language. And most native speakers, a lot of us might not even really know the language that well. There are a lot of people here in the Very United States. I'm going to elaborate on what he's talking on, but most of the time people from the UK and US cannot spell for shit. They don't know the difference between then and then. Shoot off. That's like a very big one. I swear to God, native speakers of English sometimes don't know how to spell at all. Use grammar incorrectly and, and use the wrong words, but they have a feeling to the language that you would never confuse them as not being a native speaker of English. There would be no confusion whatsoever. So, I actually I do have something to say about feeling versus knowing English. Here's the thing, to me, <laughs> it's almost like I don't know Russian either. 
I, if I'm gonna be completely honest, like, essentially ever since I was a little child, my spelling in Russian has always been perfect. However, spelling is something that a lot of Russians struggle with, and I just didn't, and that is because, I believe, the reason is because at four years old, I grabbed the Master and Margarita book from my dad and just read it. I think I just have a really good photographic memory, and me reading in Russian a lot made my spelling perfect. And I think it's the same very much for me with English, because I don't think I know English either, I just feel it. When I was in university in Russia, I actually studied translation and linguistics and I studied Mandarin as a third language and during our studies we had a lot of very linguistic very specific subjects for example theoretical grammar of English and essentially during theoretical grammar class for example uh, my teacher would always get very very mad at me because I would never know the rules I don't know any rules in English to be quite frank like I don't know what the hell I'm doing and yeah my teacher would always get mad because I would never know the rules and yet my grammar and you know the multiple choices in my tests would always be perfect. However, I'm just speaking from the heart. I'm just speaking because I feel that that's the right way to put it, and I just say it that way. I don't know how to describe it, but the way I learned English, it's like, just from constant consumption. When I was like 10-11 years old, I was playing GTA 4 on Xbox 360 with no internet, no Google Translate available, and I was playing it in English with English subtitles. And then when I got the computer and the internet, I just started consuming uh, Western content, and a lot of the times on YouTube when I was watching the video, when I was really young, like 11-12 years old, once again, I would wouldn't understand like half of the video or maybe I would understand like two out of ten words in the sentence however I would just continue watching it I don't know why I guess I just had a fascination with English and also rap music rap music did a lot for me as far as improving my vocabulary and uh I would say inspiring the way I speak but we're gonna talk about that a little bit later but yes and also what I want to say is that I think me not wanting to learn languages in a sense and just wanting to feel them is actually precisely the reason why even though I studied Mandarin in university for like three four years I don't know it and I can't really speak Mandarin at all. What a Hanyu de Shui Pin but I howla. Zaishan Hao Jongwa Wasin Zai Yao Bing Chilin. There are those who know English really well, know the grammar, know everything, but might not have the situational awareness or the cultural understanding to know how to maybe put certain things into certain areas. And I am very cultured. That is very true. <laughs> today we're gonna look and compare Lingua Marina who I believe knows English well, and I've even said that, I said I think she is definitely a C1, probably a C2 speaker, and then Roman, who is a C2 speaker. We're gonna look at two videos by both of them. I want to see if you can kind of tell the difference. Okay, so in this video, essentially, he's comparing me to Lingua Marina, and I was actually unaware of who this is, because believe it or not, I don't watch videos teaching me how to speak English, because I already speak English, right? But yeah, Lingua Marina is a pretty large channel. It's a Russian girl, as far as I understand, who moved to America at a certain point, and now has, like, her own English learning school online, which I think is pretty cool, you know? Again, I don't know much about her, but, you know, I appreciate that, you know, somebody from the old country made it. <laughs> but yes, Take it away, Dave. Let's see the comparison. So in this video, we're going to talk about this transformation that I think is super important for everyone watching. Like this example of me going from a girl who wants to be liked by everyone to a woman, or whatever you want to call it, 32-year-old, who is really aware of who she is. We're not supposed to be looking at the content itself here because it's, you know, just a vlog, not much to talk about here. But we're supposed to be looking at the speech itself and, I mean, what do I gotta say? She's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I know quite a few girls in Russia who speak English basically on the same level as she does. And I know a couple of guys in Russia that speak English on the same level as I do, so... I don't essentially think any of us are, like, super geniuses. However, you know, nobody is, and what matters is just the hard work you put in and, you know, the content that you put out, so... The only thing that robbed me wrong that I heard from a video was the way she said care really care about the one negative comment you saw it was more like care you know kind of russian who cares like i also have slip ups in my accent all the time you cannot be perfect 100 percent of the time the first thing is that it was probably much easier to follow it probably was a lot easier to follow that clip i don't think she used a lot of words that were very out of the ordinary maybe one or two or three that maybe they might be new to you but Overall, I think it was very good, very quick. Uh, she spoke well. <laughs> I think the main point here basically is that I'm terminally online and uh, Marina isn't because uh, I just speak, you know, with these nonsensical, like, words that only online people know and that's kind of, you know, my channel is kind of me. I'm a fucking dark web intellectual. So yeah, it's just more normie, I guess, but there's nothing wrong with being normie. But there are a few things I noticed about it. First, it probably was easier for you to understand because it wasn't necessarily using a lot of advanced grammar. Which goes to my second point, and that second point is that if you listen to her video, 
And then you go back to her Lingua Marina channel where she says, don't say this, don't say this, say this instead, say this if you want to sound like a native English speaker. She actually basically uses none of that advice. She's not really using idioms. She's not using a lot of phrasal verbs in certain ways. She's just using basic words to get her point across, which again, is good because the way she speaks in this video is kind of the way that an average American would speak. As far as I understand this guy Dave here, he has a little a bit of a... He's criticized Marina before on his channel, basically for, you know... She's a big channel, you know, I mean, it's fair, people get criticized. But yeah, basically what Dave is trying to say is that I'm terminally in line because I use insane words that, you know, like three people know the meaning of. Pretty much, I mean... <laughs> That's just the way I would, you know, describe myself. Oh, and also the reason why I use so many, you know, similes and, you know, phrasal verbs and, you know, curveballs I throw at you as a viewer because I'm a rapper, guys. You know, that's, that's, that's the reason why. I'm a rapper. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> please take me seriously. Let's look at Roma. Now, <laughs> I'm going to admit, the language here is going to be a little rough. So if you <laughs> don't like curse words and you don't like cussing and people swearing all over the place, this video might not be for you. I might not be for you, to be honest, if you don't like somebody that swears all over the place. If you, don't, you Actually, Russians are, some, are, are, are people that swear all the time. Actually, funnily enough, I swear in Russian way less than I do in English. In Russian, I actually like to sound presentable, sometimes. In English, I'm just like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> the way in which he uses these cuss words, the way in which he swears, actually shows how naturally he feels the language. But I want you to tell me in the comments below how easy it- Well, yeah, this channel is basically for people who uh, are learning English and who actually might not be perfect at the language. So this is actually interesting. Maybe there's actually like a curve uh, to how good somebody's English has to be for them to understand me. I've never actually thought about that. That's pretty interesting. Maybe I should start speaking like Mr. Beast in my videos, you know? Maybe that's like the only thing that's, you know, hold me back from uh, <laughs> worldwide stardom. <laughs> yeah, I already talked about this, right? This is some ghetto shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. What the hell is this? This is like almost embarrassing. I like how... <laughs> That's kind of racially insensitive, isn't it? Probably, I mean, out of context. Why is the clip he shows of me? The first thing I say is, this is ghetto as fuck. Like, <laughs> that's just not a good look. We have to eat boot like McDonald's and pretend like shit is okay. Dude, what the fuck is this, bro? This is my, oh my God. And I don't even care about, like, I mean, I eat, I eat at McDonald's, so let's be honest. He chose a section of a video of mine where I don't even like speak eloquently. I'm just like, I'm just like losing it on camera here, basically, right? Well, fair enough. I guess my English is like at its peak when I'm truly losing it. Oh my God, why am I driving like a fucking idiot? Fuck off. I guess so, that's fine with me, you know, for ages, you know, the best content on this channel has been of me losing my mind and going insane, and that's what my viewers love, so uh, I'm down to provide that. Right, so you now watch Roman's video, and the way, to me, the way in which he uses the English language is far superior than Lingua Marina. Lingua Marina used it correctly, she used it right, she used it grammatically the way that you should be using it, but all of the little slang and idioms and, and, and metaphors and stuff like that he put in there. He used them in the appropriate places. And this is the problem I have with idioms. Again, if you want to see my idioms video, is a lot of people just what I would say, plug and play. They'll take a word out, they'll plug in an idiom and then play it and say, ah, this is what an idiom should be like. But instead, you need to feel at what point, within what context you want to put an idiom. Thank you. I'm the best. Like I already said, yes, I am the best. <laughs> but, you know, on a serious note, though, it is nice to, you know, sort of hear people actually saying that, you know, you're good at this stuff when, you know, I've been actually, you know, putting an eff active effort throughout, you know, years and years now to better my English language. And I've been doing it, like, sh actually subconsciously as well, because just me speaking to a camera here on this channel gets my English to bigger and bigger heights, you know what I mean? These idioms, all the slang that I know, a lot of it obviously comes from, you know, just studying hard at school and at university. I kind of downplayed it when I was talking about it earlier, but no, like, university was very hard for me, in a sense that I I had to do a lot of studying, a lot of homework and everything, and running a YouTube channel at the same time, it was fucking hell. So yes, a chunk of my knowledge comes from studying, but a big chunk of it comes from just, in a sense, being in the English-speaking environment. And once again, I've never even been to an English-speaking country like UK or the US. I've only watched videos, played video games, and talked to foreigners online, and as a result, also started making these videos. It's really just never-ending practice for me, right? And also the sort of calling to get better and to be more expressive and more into 
entertaining for the viewer. Because, you know, with the things I talk about on my channel, I have to be, I have to know, like, which smart words to say in order to not sound like a goddamn, you know, plank of wood, you know, just saying, like, the most basic things. So, yes, wanting to be more entertaining for you guys also improves my English. So, you know, it's a reciprocated relationship, you know? But, yeah, other than that, what do I gotta say? Yes, guys, I'm the smart, I'm the, I'm the greatest to ever do it. What can I do? <laughs> I'm a humble guy, but sometimes you gotta just, you know, lay the fucking put... Well, now we guys, we're in a situation where I don't know what idiom to use. What's the word? What's the, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Let's say put your foot down. I don't even know. That's probably not the right idiom to use here, but uh, I gotta put my foot down and just say that, yes, I'm the fucking goat and the king of English <laughs> on Russian YouTube. There we go, guys. Subscribe and comment. The way he talks there is just like the way I, if I was hanging out with my friends at a bar, and we were talking about something, this is exactly how we would be speaking. I mean, the way he speaks is like exactly how we speak. Yeah, I mean, I saw people in the comments of this video actually discussing this, saying that basically I have this, um, a lot of people actually hate the way I speak English, uh, surprisingly. Usually it's like boomers from Americans and UK and stuff who like are scared of black people or something. Pretty much, right? It's like I grew up listening to rap and hip hop. So I've been into like black culture essentially from a very young age. And by listening to rap music, I sort of, in a weird way, I guess I sort of pick up the patterns of how uh, these people speak maybe. Also, I'm like a child of the internet age, right? And if you know, if you go on the internet, if you don't live under a rock, like, a lot of Zoomer humor these days, like, internet humor is based in black, you know, African-American culture. You know, memes with phrases like, it do be like that for real, you know, for example. That's just kind of how everybody speaks. That's just kind of how, you know, young 20-year-old guys who listen to Playboy Cardi and fucking Kanye speak. And that's me. I'm those 20-year-old guys, right? So... <laughs> this is just how I speak, and a lot of people hate on this. There's a lot of people that, you know, say that, like, I'm trying to sound black in the comments. There's a lot of people saying, you know, Roman needs to stop talking about drip and hella lit and, you know, fam and bruh. I can't, because, like, this is just the way I've been conditioned. And, and the thing is, right, when I make videos on this channel, I'm not trying to put on any sort of persona. I'm not trying to be formal or particularly, like, more respectful than I would be talking to any of my friends in real life. So you are getting, like, my real personality in these videos. But if I would really wanted to, I guess I could actually, you know, sort of change my register and actually speak more properly in a more proper context. And I mean, I do this, like I email people regarding like sponsorships. I have to, you know, say to whom it may concern and best regards and all of that, right? So, and also in uni, we studied like translation of legal documents and so on. So I know a lot of these smart words like here to four or whatever, right? But I just choose to not use it because I think it's actually kind of funny. Like me being a Russian guy who's talking about like, you know, important issues, but speaking like a, like some kid on Xbox Live, essentially, you know, I, th I, th I think there's like certain charm to it. A lot of people don't get it, but you know, I think it's cool. <laughs> now you guys know my fucking trick and my secrets. And this is where it's a little bit different from Liga Maria because obviously she's not cussing in her videos and, and that's fine, but I haven't seen anything in any of her videos that shows that she has a feeling for the language. She has the knowledge for it, which is good, which is good. But I haven't seen her use any of these idioms she's white she's white that's what that's what she said she's a white woman from california like why would she speak the way i do you know what i mean <laughs> This is not a diss. I'm just, I just, just think it's funny. We're both Russian, me and Marina, but I think we grew up in very different circumstances and the way we learned English in itself has to be very different. And I would actually believe that Marina does not have the certain feel for the English language that, you know, Dave says I do, but it's still a pretty interesting observation nonetheless. And this is where I have the issue with her channel is she's saying, don't say this, don't say this. But then when she's in the wild doing, doing her thing, she doesn't follow her own advice. Well, yeah, Dave has a bone to pick with Marina. I personally actually thought at one point, like a couple of years ago, of maybe if I should do like a language learning thing as well, either like teaching Russian or teaching English. And I just think I don't really have it in me to be a teacher, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know what's... Maybe I'm like a fucking sociopath or something. I really don't know, man. But I don't know if I have it in me. And I, once again, I don't even follow the rules of the English language. I don't even know them. So how can I teach anybody the rules of the English language when I don't fucking know them in the first place, right? This is real, by the way. Literally, my friends all the time, they ask me how to say this thing or that thing, right? Grammatically. And I give them the correct answer, how to say this grammatically. And then when they ask me why, I cannot explain it. I'm just like, I don't know. This is just the way it is. <laughs> You cannot do that when you're a teacher, right? So that's just why I think I'm not going to be a good one. Like, if I was mad, I was pissed off at somebody on the street. I'd say, hey, you... <laughs>
<laughs> That's basically how I speak, yes. If I said that, I don't know if she'd know what that meant. But I think Roman would. And that's the difference between knowing would, the language yes. and feeling the language. And Roman, to me, is one of the best non-native English speakers that I have ever seen anywhere. And here's a few things. One, he has a Russian accent. He has a strong Russian accent, which... Okay, I'm just liking this video now. Hold on. <laughs> a strong Russian accent? I don't know if I do personally, because if I had like a strong Russian accent, I'm maybe speaking more like this. Although at, to at, this, at this point, right? <laughs> I can't even like make a proper estimate of what my Russian accent would actually sound like. Because, uh, you know, for most of my life, I have been, you know, actively trying to, you know, get rid of my Russian accent and sound more native in a sense, right? So me trying to do a Russian accent right now probably sounds like a Westerner trying to do a shitty Russian accent, you know? Because I don't even know how to speak with a Russian accent anymore, you know? Maybe if you guys just want me to speak like this from now on, there you go. But like, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know about this one, chief. I think my accent is pretty good. <laughs> Here's the thing, I want like an actual good critique what I get wrong with my accent from somebody because I don't know what I, what I can improve on. Because at this point I feel like my speech and my pattern of speech and my cadence is like, it's really coming to its own and it's really like, it's formed essentially, right? So I don't even know how to make my accent better at this point because I'm just really, really used to speaking like this. So I can even look at myself from an unbiased point of view and see what was wrong with my accent, right? So Dave, if you got another one coming in accents, include me in that one, I want to know what's wrong. The second thing about Roman is that he still, from what I understand, has never been to an English-speaking country. Correct. He hasn't lived in the Correct. United States for seven years or whatever. He has never even been to a majority English-speaking country. He learned most of this on his own while living in Chilevinsk. <laughs> Absolutely, that's how he learned English. And he yeah. even has a video about the way in which he learned English. And it was through video games. And his ability to speak English, to me, is far superior compared to Lingua Marina. Oh, take that, Marina. Far superior. <laughs> the point is, is you want to feel the language if you really want fluency. Pretty interesting video, to be honest. I think it's really cool to see from like an outsider point of view how good my English is, essentially. And of course, my ego, you know, got flattered in this video. So of course, I'm feeling good right now. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, on a serious note, though, um, I like the English language. I've always enjoyed speaking it, you know, ever since I was a kid. I think from when I've heard, you know, like rap and Eminem for the first time. That was like my, you know, first rapper, really, that I got into, obviously. I thought it just sounded cool as shit. So I just kind of, you know, went with it. I don't know what else to say here, but, you know, the English language language I appreciate it and I appreciate it for the roads it opened for me and you know this what I'm doing right now and you know making a living on this YouTube channel is all thanks to the English language so I'm forever grateful but yes thanks to Dave for making this video thanks to Lingua Marina for being a part of it as well somehow no disrespect to her in any way or, any, or anything once again I'm not trying to pride myself over anybody and yeah uh thanks to you guys for watching this video if you guys did enjoy it then please make sure to slap the like on it as well guys if you want to support me additionally if you want to support this channel then you can go to the link down in the description become a YouTube member it's basically like YouTube's own version of Patreon it's a way to donate to me monthly and it's the best way to support me and yeah guys that is going to be pretty much it today's video though and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.